Hi, I'm Mike McConville, uh, Director of New Category Development with Horizon Hobby. And in this video, we want to talk about calibration of the, uh, the compass in the new uh, Champ S Plus. Um, the really important point to make here is, in most cases, calibration isn't even necessary. Um, take it out of the box and go fly it. If the uh, calibration needs to be done, the airplane will tell you, because what will happen is when it powers up, and it gets GPS lock, the ailerons will go hard over and nothing will work. And th that's telling you there's a compass error for some reason, maybe it's been exposed to a magnet or something, and so you need to calibrate it. If it doesn't do that, go ahead and fly it. And the only time you ever need to calibrate it again, if, uh, other than if you get an error for some reason, is uh, if, if when you're doing auto landings, the, the heading it seems to be significantly off from where you expect it to be. Usually doesn't happen. It's really a, an unusual thing. It's calibrated at the factory and normally it holds very well, but, um, but at times magnetometers can, can drift or can get an error because of, of magnets or something. And so, in the, in the event you do need to calibrate it, I want to walk you through the really simple method for calibrating. It takes a few seconds and uh, if you have to do it, no big deal. Okay. So what we need to do is first turn on the transmitter. We always turn the transmitter on first. Then we, we can put the battery in the airplane. Very simple, just connect the battery, put it in the, put it in the battery compartment just like we were going to fly. close the lid. Now we set the airplane down upright and we hold the sticks together like that. Now we have to wait a little bit. It'll connect to the transmitter first and the ailerons will go to neutral to tell you I'm connected. But nothing works because now it's, it's seeking satellite connection. Now it got it because the ailerons start to move. When they start to move and they move back and forth, that tells you it's in calibration mode. So we can set the transmitter down but leave it turned on, that's important. Now a couple real quick simple movements. Um, point the airplane in a direction, say to the north, rotate it this way twice. Then turn the nose 90 degrees and rotate it this way a couple times. Two times each way and that's it. Set it back down. Now the next step is now we turn off the transmitter and we wait a few seconds till the ailerons stop moving. That when that happens, it flashes that new calibration into its, into its memory and it's good to go. Now we're done. Now we just disconnect the flight battery and we're good to fly. Next time we plug it in, we just go fly. That simple.